Hi, this is Laura GB, and in this Power BI video, we're going to look at creating a paginated report straight from a Power BI dataset in the online experience. So here we are in our workspace, and we've got a dataset called UK Weather. It comes from my standard UK Weather report. So we're going to, on the dataset, hover my mouse and click on the three dots. And there we go, there is create a paginated report. Now, this is a reasonably new experience of creating online and there have been some new features added. So we're gonna go with, we've got, a blank, we've got a blank page here, but all we can do is add a table. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna bring in the station name and you'll see it fills in the data. So there are some of my stations and I'm also going to bring in whether they're east or west and they're north and south. And also I'm going to bring in the minimum temperature. So these are all from my data set that I've brought in. You need to be aware that if the page is, if, if things go over the page, they don't fit on. So they don't appear, they'll, they'll appear on page two. So I'm going to go and make east-west a little narrower. And I'm going to make north-south narrower and there we are minimum temperature popped up. I'm also going to make that one a little bit narrower as well. So I've got my table. I've got a few things I can change on the build panel. They are, I can see the order that my fields are. I could drag and drop them around if I wanted to. On the formatting, all I've got is the style. So we can pick, and it's very similar styles to the style in Power BI Desktop. So we've got the unreadable flashy rows. But I actually quite like the bold header. That will work for me. It's going to stick with that. And then I can go up to File. And I'm going to click Save. And let's call that Min Temp Report. And click Save. And I can then go and have a look in my workspace. And there we are. I've got my min temp report that I can open up. And they are not in the designer, but I can come in here and I can see, and look, we can, we can go onto page two, which is blank, interestingly. Maybe we can fix that. So let's go and talk about fixing it. If we go to the file ribbon, we can see, we can edit in the report builder. And it says it wants to open the report builder, so let's say OK. Sometimes it talks about updates for you. And here we are in the delights of the report builder. And there's my table. OK, so I can do things like I can tidy up some of my headers and footers and things. OK, I can also make the body of my report just fit the table, which is possibly causing the blank page. I also can decide I want to have something at the top of my report. So we're going to go to the insert ribbon and I'm just going to put in a add header. And in there, I'm going to, from the left hand side here, I'm going to add in my report name. In and let's just do a quick, very quick and dirty. Make that 24 points, make that kind of wider. And there we are. Yes, I could have done pixel perfect and done all the measurements, but for nice speed, I just don't like that. By the way, I recommend you doing getting it right and getting it all pixel perfect. That's what paginated reports are for. But then what we can do off here is I can go publish. Publish it straight back to where it was. Switch back to my workspace. And just do a quick refresh just to make sure. And now let's open our report. And there we are. We get a name of the report and our data underneath. So that was a really quick create a paginated report straight from a Power BI data set. And I'm Laura GB. And if you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.